Vertical eye movement. After discussing the horizontal saccadic in the previous video, we will now discuss the vertical saccadic. Vertical saccadic depend on simultaneous bilateral activity within the frontal lobes in area 8. This means that the horizontal saccadic are unilaterally controlled whereas the vertical saccadic are bilaterally controlled. If one has to look up or down, impulses travel from both the frontal lobes in area 8. The impulse travels via the basal ganglia to the pretectal area or the pretectal center for vertical gaze. This is the vertical gaze center. From the vertical gaze center impulses pass to the third nerve nuclei. Till here is the supranuclear pathway. Now, the infranuclear pathway starts, and impulses go via the third cranial nerve to the vertical muscles, and the patient looks up or looks down. Because of the fact that vertical saccadic require bilateral cortical activity, Cerebral hemisphere lesions rarely produce deficits in the vertical saccadic. Such deficits are seen only with massive hemispheric lesions producing bilateral damage to both frontomesencephalic pathways. Disturbances of vertical saccadic are much more common with midbrain disorders. If you find this video helpful, please hit the subscribe and bell buttons. And don't forget to like and share this video. Thanks.